Like, they cannot see. Clearly, they're spending way more money than they have. They're always out in the streets and not home taking care of their children. Rising Grand Rising, welcome to Sunday Tea Tarot for Sunday, March 24th. I'm Tiffany of Wasted Traditions Tarot. Let's find out what's the tea for you, beloved spirit. Do tell. What do we need to know? This is a general collective reading. Okay, I got two cards here. I'd like to have one more. Always partying, romantic love affair, sex fix, secret lover. One more spirit. Interesting Sunday tea tarot already. Child services, kids at risk of being taken or is about to reporting something reporting something neglect abuse very interesting always partying romantic love affair sex fix secret lover kids at risk of being taken or is about to reporting something neglect abuse all right i'm feeling really um this is actually making me a tad uncomfortable to be honest with you beloved always parting so i feel like this person and i do hope this is not you beloved i really hope this is not you and we will get clarification with the tarot but someone is partying quite often and they're doing this outside of their relationship they have a romantic love interest they are having an affair out of outside of their committed relationship they have a secret lover and in the midst of all of this they are neglecting their children because this love affair this secret relationship is priority to them instead of their children being priority so let's get some clarification with the tarot always partying four of pentacles and king of cups <laughs> Yeah, they are really, they are so out of balance with this King of Cups. I feel like they're pursuing their heart and someone very charismatic had gotten their claws into them. I feel like they met them at a party. Again, beloved, I, I really pray this is not you. Spirit is revealing. Um always out partying and losing and not even having enough money to party like they're partying outside their means like they really don't have the money but they have to be out there to be seen because their love interest is at this party seven of wands and Knight of Cups. Um, Jesus. Mm. All right. They are actually trying to. How do you say? With considering this this affair that they're having, they're making excuses and trying to defend their foul behavior because they are so enamored with this person that they're having an affair with like they cannot see clearly they're spending way more money than they have they're always out in the streets and not home taking care of their children as they should be and they're actually trying to defend this type of behavior um they want to control the narrative but they're putting out fake news you know they're lying about you know because they don't want anybody to find out they're having an affair on their person right and then we have the ace of swords coming up and death wow yeah yep they think they're really slick this person thinks they're real slick they're real sharp minded yet what i'm feeling is their their world is about to come crashing down because People are noticing their children are not looking well. Their children don't look um, clean or hygienic when they're going to school. You have 
teachers and school counselors noticing these children not looking like they're being kept. And this person over here having this affair outside of the means, pretty much spending money they don't have, racking up debt, all because they are so enamored and in love with this person they're having an affair with. They think they're so slick and they're getting away with it, but it's coming to a close because someone is about to report them. I don't know if this is someone close to you and you've noticed this as well. Spirit, if you're seeing this, beloved, it is your responsibility to um, make sure you are doing what's right for those children. Who cares about this adult and what they're doing over here? But when the children are affected and their life has decreased as far as how they're able to live, if they're eating properly, if they're, if they're well cared for. It, if you know this, beloved, if you know this is happening, you are responsible. You didn't just come to this video by happenstance. It's divine connection. You know something's going on and it concerns those children. And therefore, that you should make it your business to make sure these children are well taken care of and get the help they need. I feel like this person is actually has actually gotten pregnant from this affair and has been telling their spouse, their partner, their mate that it's theirs. So another child is about to come into this situation? Really? I feel like the person who's having this affair f believes that something is about to change, so they want to renew their relationship with their partner. And they think this child is going to do that. They're actually giving this child a job before they get here. That's absolutely not okay. Um, I feel like they realize their partner is acting different. The partner may know something. Page of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Five of Cups. Knight of Cups. Uh, I'm sorry, King of Cups. Mm -hmm. This cheater has a desire to keep this whole charade going. And now that they're pregnant, they don't really see how they can. They know if their partner, their spouse finds out, it will absolutely break their heart. And their partner will move away from them and more than likely take the children from them. This person who's having the, the this uh, this adulterer is extremely nervous right now, thinking this new baby is going to fix the situation, and that's not the case, and that's never okay to give a child a job, ever, especially when they haven't even been born. This adulterer has lost all emotional control, seriously, because they think they can get away with it. They think they can justify why they're doing it because their partner was not giving them the attention they need or not um, enough SEX or not buying them what they want or saying yes or whatever. They are, this adulterer, it has lost emotional control. They are absolutely out of control. They have been neglecting their child, their child or children. And if you know this, you have to do something. Again, they're still, even if you approach them, they're going to try and justify, you know, the cat will be out of the bag and <laughs> the cat will be out the bag and they're still, and you're going to approach them and say, hey, what's going on? What is happening? I see something's not right. The kids aren't looking well. They're not looking clean. They're telling me they're hungry. What's going on? This adulterer is still, again, another um, way to try to justify what they're doing and thinking that it's all right. And it's not. They're actually going to try to defend themselves against you. And But you have more clarity. You know what high frequency living is and you're not going to eat their BS and you're going to call them to the carpet and tell them they need to come clean to their partner, right? They have to have a new beginning. If they come clean, if they're honest and truthful, they can start again. They can give their partner a chance to decide 
if forgiveness is is something that they're able to do and start over with this person, create a new beginning for the entire relationship, for the whole family dynamic. This is really bothering me. Um, if you know something, do something. If you know something, say something. There are children involved here. They are innocent and they need us adults to stand up, fight for them, get justice for them, right? Who loves them? They need us to love them unconditionally. Okay? You didn't get here by mistake. You you you're on this video. It's a divine connection. You're here on purpose. If you know something, do something.